Warning, please do not repeat this at home. This is for educational purposes. Anybody who does this might get hurt. We are not liable for any injuries caused by DOI projects based on our videos. Hey, you, yeah, yeah, you, you know, job blasting. Pretty cool of Australian sport. Too bad it isn't a sport. But my mate, he broke his uh, gel blaster. Same guy who gave me the G-Shock. So today I'll be taking this apart and seeing if I can fix it. So let's begin. Just be one take because it's all gel blasters and tech use similar screwdrivers. No, you, it's very hard to find your screw set or you just need like that one. But it screws you, this is around about 20 bucks, or no, $17 from Bunnings Warehouse, this Trojan kit, and it gives you a large range of screws that are really useful for your tech and stuff. I got one from Super Cheap, that was where my, and it was like 10 bucks. Was it? So these are the most simplest um, gel blasters you can buy in terms of parts. In fact, I have an exact same one of this, thanks to my mate. I just painted it a different color. You can paint these two. Painting these are kind of, it's kind of funny if you can get a cool color scheme. There you go. So that's the casing for this thing apart. Yeah. How many screws in this, hey? It's almost like they don't want you to fix it. No, because this is too cheap to fix because they just want you to buy a new one. Except for us, we. Which is too good. Honestly, I don't think there's any. If I had to guess, it would probably be just that the mechanism might have gone out of whack. So. So here's just a good side view of this uh, gel blaster. So basically, where that this where that snap is, there's supposed to be a um, lip, which this can catch this on, and pull it, and pull the actual plunger back that way. But it's actually snapped because uh, my friend here was using it as intended, and clearly, um, plastic is just really bad plastic. So if I were to pull this back, if it load everything, you'd feel some resistance. But, and you'd think you've loaded the gun. But in actuality, you haven't actually pulled the spring back, cocking back the firing mechanism. Well, what's the moral of the story? Moral of the story is to, is to buy good gel blasters, um, treat gel blasters well, and keep watching my videos so you can learn how to fix multiple. Thank you guys for watching.